<laughs> hey, we're back. It's been a bit, so we prepared a couple of videos for Chapter 4, which covers advanced topics. A bunch of talented people in our community made some nifty commands to make animating a lot easier. We link these in the description below. First, we'll walk through how to install it, and then we'll explain what each one does. To install these plugins, first download the .zip file in the description, and then extract the file with 7-zip or WinRAR. Links to those are in the description below if you don't have them already. Somehow. Then navigate to this directory by copy and pasting this junk into your file browser. I'm not going to read it because it's really long. You can find it in the description. Right click the .zip and click extract here and you're good to go. Open up Flash and hover over commands. You should see them all there. You can assign shortcuts if you want. Refer to chapter 1 on how to do that. Lossless Images makes your images into lossless PNGs. Copy Tile lets you repeat a tile like so depending on what you put for X and Y. Mass Bitmap Tracer highlights bitmaps inside a folder in the library and creates a traced bitmap inside a symbol under the same name. Quick Align Bitmap lets you highlight things in your library and it'll align it to the center and automatically animates them inside a movie clip called Aligned Clip. When you click the command, you should see this window. You can just hit enter for it to align to the center. And there you go, it's done. Useful for mass aligning effects or other animations. Multiple bitmaps to movie clips is self-explanatory. Highlight the keyframes in the timeline and run the command. It makes every keyframe in a sequence a symbol. Useful for inside effects, where you can just edit multiple keyframes and set the range to all. Then you can hit Ctrl A and apply whatever effects you want, like add. Newer Anim Clip lets you take an entire layer and shove it into a symbol in place without you having to realign it. 